Hey everyone, welcome to another Adobe Photoshop tutorial from Techtopia. This tutorial was requested so many times. Um, I'm not even kidding, I think it was requested at least 50 times uh, since the beginning of February. So this was uh, a long overdue tutorial. I should have made this a long time ago, but here it is. I'm going to show you how to create your own YouTube channel background in Photoshop. Uh, so anyways, uh, let's get started. I'm just going to open up a web browser. Now you might be thinking, why are we going to the internet? We're making a Photoshop project. We're making a background in Photoshop. Well, first you need to download my template. Uh, I have it on my website, so just go to your URL. Go to www.techtopia.co.nr. All the links will be in the description. So just go to this website here, www.techtopia.co.nr. So here is my homepage. Uh, what we're going to do is go to this downloads page over here. Uh, while you're on my site, you may as well register on my forum as well, but, you know, anyways. So we're going to go to the downloads. And the browser's slow right now. We're going to go to this one here. Uh, it might be at the top, it might not, uh, depending on how many stuff I uh, upload by the time you get here. So uh, just look around, it'll be here. It's called YouTube Channel Background. We're going to click on this. And we're going to go to this thing here that says download from this server. And then just hit save file. Uh, let's choose where to save it. I'm just going to save it in my important stuff. Don't delete folder. Hit save. Hit yes. And here it is. So I'm going to right click it. Hit open containing folder. Here it is. Uh, let's open this. Open this. And here we go. Here is our file. Now I'm going to extract all these files really quickly here. Okay, let's open this. So we have four files in this folder. We got a readme, which is just like instructions and stuff. But uh, you don't really need this because you're watching this video. Then I got two samples here just for like little, so you can just look at them. Uh, I highly doubt you're going to want to use these because they're pretty bad. And uh, you're probably not going to want to use them anyways. Uh, those are just little samples, but this is what we're going to be using. Template. Uh, so I'm just going to close everything else here quickly. Alright, so let's just double click on this template file. Or you can right click it, hit open with Photoshop, but usually it opens with Photoshop by default. I'm going to double click it and then Photoshop will boot up for us. So here's Photoshop, it's opening up automatically. Just wait a few moments and it'll pop up everything else. And uh, it'll probably say something like some text layers contain fonts that are missing. Uh, don't worry, this is totally normal. The reason it, uh, this pops up is because when I made the template, I was stupid and I used a font that I downloaded from the internet that you're probably not gonna have unless you download fonts on a regular basis. But just hit OK, don't worry. So here is our template. This is what we're going to work with. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of this subscribe thing because uh, that's the thing I was talking about with the text. And the reason I'm deleting it is because, uh, like I said before, that it won't work out because you probably don't have the font already installed. So I'm just going to delete that layer. Um, so we have three layers now, banner, foreground, and background. This banner layer is basically this uh, white bar at the top. Uh, you're probably not going to want to mess with this banner too much because it'll probably mess up on YouTube. It'll look really, really bad, so I suggest you just leave it as is. So, Okay, uh, so now we have background and foreground. I'm just going to work with my foreground right now. So select your foreground layer. I'm going to go to my quick selection tool. Let's uh, make this brush a bit bigger. I'm just going to click on these columns here, these little transparent columns on the far left and far right sides. I just clicked on both of them with my quick selection tool. They are now both selected. I'm going to go up here to refine edge and just hit OK. Now what this does is it um, blurs the edges of my selection and it makes it a lot more cleaner looking and uh, it just looks better. So anyways, uh, now this is the fun part. Now this is where you can get totally creative and uh, use whatever designs or brushes or text, whatever you want. It's all up to you. Uh, I suggest not going crazy and uh, putting all these brush icons and stuff on it. Uh, the reason you shouldn't go crazy and have every single brush you have on your uh, document is because the more crap you have on your uh, layout or your background, uh, the larger the file size will be in the end. And uh, you're going to need to compress this to under 256K. And if you have a lot of crap on it and you're compressing it down to a really false uh, file size, it's going to be really, really bad quality. So I just uh, suggest keeping it pretty plain. Uh, you can add some stuff, but I suggest keeping it pretty simple. So what I'm going to do is go up here to Layer, New Fill Layer, Gradient. And of course you can use use uh, whatever you want. I'm just going to hit OK. We now have this gradient. Uh, there's our gradient editor dialog box. 
here where it says gradient, I'm going to click this and just choose a variety of gradients here. Uh, most of them I don't really like too much. I'm just going to hit this one here where it goes white to black and I'm actually going to edit this gradient. As you see, we got this little thing down here. Uh, we got this black point at the far left and this white point at the far right. I'm going to double click on the one at the far right and change the color to whatever you want. I'm just going to go with a green. So there we go. We ha now have a greenish gradient. I'm just going to hit OK now. Now we can add some brush icons if we want. So what we can do is uh, go to our brush tool and just find a good brush, you know. Don't want to waste too much time. All right, so we got this brush, make it a bit bigger. Now it might not work if you uh, use your first click, like if I click, as you can see, nothing happened. That's because we're working on our gradient fill layer. So what we're going to do is take this foreground layer, click and drag it so that it is above our gradient fill. So we got it, the layer, the the order of layers should go banner, foreground, gradient fill, and then background. And that is if you're using a gradient. If you're not, uh, you should be totally fine. So now I'm just going to click here, and there we go. There's our brush. So uh, let's just do this a few more times, you know. Uh, you know, I'm really not trying that hard. Uh, obviously, you're going to want to spend a lot more time and effort onto this, but this is uh, just going to be a quick little video, so it doesn't really matter how crappy I make it. All right, so let's just pretend that I'm so happy with my masterpiece, and I want to show all my friends on YouTube. Well, we're almost done. Uh, I'm just going to do one more thing. I'm going to put my name up there, the name Techtopia, just because it looks better. So. I'm going to go to my text tool, pick a good font, pick the color white or whatever color you want, really. Click Techtopia. Alright, so even though I changed the font size, it's still kind of small. So what I'm going to do is select my text layer from my layers palette, hit Control and T. This pops up our transformation controls, and I'm just going to zoom in so you guys can get a better view here. Alright, so there's our little text. Uh, you probably can't read it, or if you can, then that's good. Okay, I'm going to hit Control T. Here's our transformation controls. Holding Shift, I'm going to drag one of these nodes, and these will keep the proportion sides, sizes. Sorry. So that's about good. I'm just going to drag that up there. And now, uh, normally I'd add some layer styles and some brush uh, strokes to it and make everything a lot better, but of course I'm not trying to waste your time. I'm just trying to give you a little inspiration so that you have some ideas for your layout. So let's just say I'm done, and uh, I'm satisfied with it, and I'm ready to upload it to YouTube. Now we got to save it first. We're going to go up here to File, Save As, and uh, this pops up. We're going to just call it whatever you want. I'm going to call it YouTube Layout, and uh, under Format, we're going to change this from Photoshop to JPEG. Hit Save. Now this is very, very, very important. Uh, this thing pops up. Now don't hit OK just yet. See how there's this little preview checkbox? Make sure that it is checked, and take this little slider thing and push it all the way up. Now what you're going to do is look at this number under preview. It says 534.6K. Now YouTube's file size limit for a background is um, 256K. So this is too large. So what we're going to do is take the slider and uh, push it to the left a bit to about quality 9. This is 217.8K. So uh, that will fit YouTube's uh, size limit. So that is uh, a good size limit. It's at quality 9. So depending on how much stuff you have, um, that it will determine the quality and the file size. As I said before, the plainer you have it, the better quality. Uh, the more complex you have it, the lower the quality. So I'm going to hit OK. And now I can go to YouTube. Just open up Firefox, go to YouTube. Alright, here we go. Then uh, I go to Account, Edit Channel, Channel Design, scroll down, and uh, you'd go up here to Background Image. Uh, hit browse and then find your file and hit OK and there you go but I, I'm not going to delete my current background because it's so sweet uh, here is a background that my friend Brandon created for me so thank you for creating my this background Brandon it is so awesome but anyways uh, so this is uh, something you can create if you uh, put some time and effort into it uh, as you can see this is a beautiful background I am like in love with it but so uh, basically it's pretty straightforward uh, you know, you gotta have some creativity when you're doing this, but it's not that challenging. Uh, but, anyways, I uh, hope you like this tutorial. I finally released it, so you can stop uh, head sending me hate mail and you know complaints and stuff. So, thank you for watching this tutorial. And I gotta go. So, see ya.